my friends at your art teacher, Miss Barnett. And in this week's lesson called Paper Surprises, we've been talking about how artists and illustrators like to use painted paper and collections of materials to create interesting artworks. And today you're going to be creating some painted papers that we're going to use in a project, not the next project, but the project after. So you're going to need two pieces of large paper and a variety of materials. Now I'm going to go over several different ways to make painted paper. You do not have to use all of them. I would like for you to watch the video to the end until you've, um, until it's completed. So you have lots of different ideas on how to complete today's assignment. You should have each paper to be considered successful represents a variety of different techniques that I'm gonna show you today. Um, it should have some creative approaches and you should have some different visual effects with color, texture, and pattern. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. It's a lot. Um, so think about what you wanna do and then ask me for the materials that you're interested in. Can you try your own thing? Yes, you can but I would like for you to be able to explain to me what exactly you're going to do with the materials. That way I can help kind of direct you to be as successful as possible. So with that said, I'm going to break out the materials. You might wanna wear a paint shirt today. I'm going to put on my artist smock so I can keep my clothes clean because it's gonna be kind of a messy day. And let's get started. All right, friends, so one of the first uh, options that you might want to try today is uh, texture rubbing. So we're going to use the texture plate. So you'll just simply put one under your paper and using a crayon and rubbing back and forth, we can pick up the beautiful textures of the plate. You can try layering different colors on top. You can layer textures under other textures. Really, the options are pretty wide open here to explore different ways of changing the paper. After you've done that, you might want to try some watercolor. So we can get a watercolor set and the salt out. And I'm going to paint this section down here and then apply a little salt and see what happens. All right, friends, so you really wanna make sure that the watercolor is wet um, while you are applying the salt. And you can see it's making this really cool crystallized effect. I'm gonna come in here on top of this uh, crayon rubbing and add a little bit of watercolor paint because it will go into these empty spaces. I'm gonna continue working on that and then I'm gonna show you another technique. Here we go. All right, friends, the next technique I'm going to show you is using liquid watercolors, which are very fancy. So you're going to take your brush and you're going to really wet your paper. Super, super wet. And I would just kind of work in sections. Then you're going to take your watercolor and you're going to kind of hold the brush up and let tap it gently and get some of this dotting to happen. You can change your color. So pretty. And the wet paper really lets it flow and kind of blend into this pretty kind of pattern. Let's try another color. I'm 
Okay. Beautiful. The next technique we're going to try is using a little piece of saran wrap and some tempera paint, and I'm just going to paint onto the plastic wrap. Here we go. All right, friends, so I've painted my clean wrap. Now I'm going to bring my paper back over and very carefully press this down and rub. Let's lift. Beautiful, and it transferred all that beautiful paint onto my paper. All right, so now we're going to try the cardboard technique. All right, friends, using my tempera paint and my cardboard, I also have these really cool combs and regular combs that you could try out. I'm going to dip, dip, dip my color, my cardboard into the paint, and I'm going to drag it through. Color and move it around. We could try that with one of the combs. And you can just experiment with this until you get a texture that you like. Very cool. There you go. Now we can try the bleeding tissue technique. So I have certain types of tissue paper that when they're wet will release their color. So we're gonna scrunch it up really good. We're gonna take one of our water bottles and spray, spray, spray the paper until it's pretty wet. And then we're gonna lay this tissue paper on here and then lift it up. You can see it's leaving some of that color behind. Let's see what happens if we really press it down. It's kind of a gentler, softer kind of color releasing. So that's one paper done. You can already see how much the salt has really changed the effect of that watercolor. And I have one more technique to show you. So we're going to use our tempera paint again and a stiff brush. I think I'm gonna go over top of this. All right, friends, the last technique I'm gonna show you today is a splatter technique. So we're gonna use a stiff bristled brush and a ruler and our tempera paint. You're just going to dip the brush in and then using the ruler you're going to pull the bristles towards you and you get this really cool splatter. Let's try a different color. Make sure you wash the rulers when you're done. All right, friends, and there's one of my painted papers completed. I'm going to do another one, 
course, you should also make two. I hope you have a lot of fun experimenting today, and let's get started.